Hi, welcome back to Kyra Official, our YouTube platform for the Sophia Code movement. Uh, hey, <laughs> great to see you coming on. Feel free to introduce yourselves to one another, um, where you're joining us live from. If you're watching on the replay, feel free to share your name, um, the city or country that you're watching from. Happy Friday, welcome back. Ooh, this is Marcy's first live with us together. And Marcy is sharing that, um, oh, that I've been helping her so much with these videos. Thank you, Marcy. I'm so grateful to hear that. Hi, Jade. Jade's one of our uh, certified Sophia Circle leaders and team angels. Feel free to say hello to Jade. Good morning, Melinda. <laughs> I guess it's more like the afternoon. <laughs> so check it out. We've got the prayer collective call happening, the Heaven on Earth prayer collective call happening. Um, yeah. Like in 40 minutes. So I'm about to go off <laughs> on that call um, in the best way. I'm really excited about it. Um, I've got a lot of my heart. I've got a lot to talk about. We've got a lot to pray about. And so I hope you can join us live um, for that in about 40 minutes. And so today I'm going to take um, a couple of questions for Friday Q&A. Uh, we won't be here long, but um, I do hope you can join us for that, uh, for our, our prayer collective call, because that's happening really soon. You'll, we'll get a whole lot more time together. Uh, so let's see. Um, if you have any questions, feel free to put in the chat. I've got a few questions from the, rep um, from the comments uh, on my, in our YouTube studio. Um, as you're considering what your questions are, uh, feel free to, um, again, greet one another. And big announcement, we're coming to Marseille, France. I don't know if you've heard, but um, we just announced that we'll be in Marseille um, on June 19th and 20th for the Magdalene Heart Immersive, which I am so excited about. I've got my Joan of Arc pendant on. <laughs> I have a French t-shirt. Um, Yes, so we'll be in Marseille for the Magdalene Heart Immersive, and we'll be focusing on, of course, Mother Mary, who is our spiritual guide for 2023, but also Joan of Arc and Mary Magdalene and the entire Order of Magdalena. So are you coming to France? Are you going to be there with us? I'm so excited for this adventure. Feel free to share in the chat, and um, we'd love to welcome you there to this beautiful in-person event. So for today's uh, first question, I've been hanging on to this one for a while. Um, okay, well, let's go to these live chat before I go there. Ava, hi Ava, is sharing any tips for overcoming Wi-Fi frequency attacks, sensitivity with the light of my higher self. I've been trying to do a lot of different prayers and commands. Wow, that's such a good question. Thank you, Eva. So very often um, we'll experience sensitivity uh, when our spiritual centers are either trying to open more or integrate more um, with our human experience and we may feel a lot of resistance or fear to being in our extremely toxic environment. Oh, I wonder why. And one of the ways that I have personally found to kind of make peace with the crazy matrix environment that we are, you know, surviving every day because as many of you know I'm a health nut and I I love being healthy. I love clean water and fresh air and organic food. And um, I love to exercise. So, you know, it's pretty upsetting what we're inundated with all day long in our skies and in the Wi-Fi uh, radiation. And yeah, just in general, I'm, I'm, pre I'm not trying to preach to the choir. I know that you all know <laughs> about, you know, what we're battling. Um, and one of um, the ways that I navigate that is if there is any resistances to my next level empowerment, I ask my higher self to show me if there's a healing modality that I need to use um, that helps my chakras and my physical body um, be more at harmony with uh, my empowerment and my next 
my next level strength in the matrix. So I'm going to give you an example. Recently, I was starting to get very intense, light sensitive headaches. Uh, they weren't hormonal related. They weren't, um, it wasn't any imbalances because I certainly did the research to check. And finally, I just took some time to be still and ask my higher self. And my higher self showed me that because of all of the soul retrievals that I was doing with my inner ch children <laughs> um, and you know, my inner child is extremely psychic, there was a next level opening in my psychic abilities that was creating a lot of pressure in my third eye, in my crown chakra, in the center of my head. And I got the intuition that I needed acupuncture to help my body relax and open up even more to where my higher self wanted me to go in my physical embodiment. And so I spoke to my, uh, I occasionally do acupuncture and I spoke, spoke to the practitioner that I work with. And I said, Hey, I know this is an unusual request, but my higher self is telling me I need like 25 needles in my skull. <laughs> what do you think? <laughs> Are you down to doing a, a dragon acupuncture session? He was like, yeah, let's do it. And um, I'm telling you the relief that I experienced for listening to my higher self and taking action um, specifically related to what I intuitively could feel would provide relief. The relief came so quickly and, and so powerfully. And um, like my whole inner reality is being readjusted because I'm just, I just listened to that next step. And so, you know, it's not always, it's not always that simple. Um, but I do know that when we activate the divine genome with the eight key code initiations in the Sophia code, when we visualize and practice deeply connecting to the earth, filling ourselves with our higher self consciousness, opening our hearts up to the presence of God, we will be guided with the next step, like self-loving next step actions that we can take that can help either alleviate the discomfort we're feeling or even create solutions um, that adjust how we're walking in our bodies entirely. Um, I do also have a lot of crystals in my home that I've asked the Ascendant Masters and my higher self to help me grid my home. Um, I use a lot of um, I use a lot of prayer and visualization to shield my home and my office space, and um, and I also work out a lot. I take that very seriously because I really believe that a strong body leads to a lot of resilience and healthy resistance, pushing back on all of the psychic waste that we're navigating, not to mention like the physical toxins in our environment. So, you know, it's, it sounds pretty simple, but the truth is that our human body is a miracle. And so when we take the time to treat it right, we take the time to honor our home space and our workspace um, with what we're being intuitively guided to do to grid up. Um, and when we listen to those next steps, um, you know, coming from within, I clearly saw that, you know, it, in the example that I just shared, I clearly saw asking my acupuncturist for something very specific. I had to be brave enough to, to not just go in and get the usual acupuncture that he does. I had to open up and be vulnerable and say, Hey, like, I actually have an idea about what I need. Are, are you willing to co-create this with me? And, you know, sometimes that can require some courage and definitely a lot of self-love to speak up and say, you know, what you need, especially if it feels unusual. I knew I needed needles all over my skull and he, he was, he was game. So it's like your higher self can guide you um, to the people and the resources that can, that can help you with those uh, fine tuning adjustments as you are discovering how to embody more and more of your divine light in this world. And um, the human body, if you 
make it a practice to listen to your body and listen to your heart every day. It's like, you're going to pick up on the cues that you need to take action on. And one step leads to another step leads to another step. And it can eventually lead to, you know, total relief. Um, as far as like what, um, harmonizing with your environment. Um, I want to answer this question. I hope this is help. I hope that was helpful and, uh, feel free to add your comments in the, um, in the chat, any reflections. I'm so grateful to Ava for asking this question. How about you? Feel free to share your gratitude to Ava as well. Um, <laughs> Kathy sharing. Oh, I can see your pink wall. Yeah, you want to see more of it? So cool. I did this for Mother Mary Speaks for the writing project uh, that I'm working on. It's a mural. It's a wallpaper mural of a geo. Speaking of crystals. Um, <laughs> All right, so I'm a, I'm gonna I actually need to get off my team. Angels are like, hey, time for the prayer collective. <laughs> so, um, so yeah, let's continue this conversation there because I'm about to bring the dragon fire. Um, I love it when I get to connect with our community completely uncensored. Um, stay tuned. We have um, exciting details that we're gonna be releasing about our new software app, the Sophia Code community software app that's gonna hopefully be released this month. Um, please send prayers. We've been going through a lot of review processes with Google and Apple. So uh, we welcome your prayers of support towards that, the momentum of that app finally being released to the world. Um, yes, check out our events page, check out, um, the our event the magdalene heart immersive in marseille france i'm so excited to go back to france and be with our international community and if you are looking for to go on a beautiful summer trip um south of france is act, like one of the most beautiful places in the world so <laughs> i'd love to be there with you and um yeah so i'll get to this question um in our next friday q a I love you all so much. If you're interested in joining us for the Mother Mary Speaks journey, the new material isn't released until April. So be sure to reach out to us and let us know if you'd like to be a part of that journey. You can always speak to one of my team angels uh, in a free angel consultation. So I love you all. See you in the prayer collective. Have a great day. And please like this video and subscribe to my channel. That's how you can show your support of the Sophia Code movement. Namaste.